Hey, everybody. No, nah, don't. Don't do that for me. Do that for the people who I'm about to call out here. Who's played Super Fight before? It's like the, it's like the face of God that I'm looking into right now. Um, rather than explain it to you, I'll explain it to all of you at the same time when these uh, next people come out. Some of you you may have heard up. First up is M.T. Anderson. Next up, we have Desiree Birch. <laughs> Next after that, Lev Grossman, come on out. And Sarah Mackey is coming out too. <laughs> NaNoWriMo. Welcome everybody, thank you for playing. Yeah. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off with a battle royale, the way Super Fight works is you're using these cards to make up made up fighters. Usually at home you would fight one on one and then your friends at the table would vote. We got a bunch of friends here that I'm gonna use them. So they're gonna fight and you all are gonna choose the winner of the fight by making a bunch of noise. So let's start off real big by having all of you enter this mock Hunger Games arena at the same time. Each of you take three black cards and three white cards. I'll split these up better for you. All right, the black cards are attributes, the white cards are characters. Three of each, you can read them. Don't let the person next to you see them. Three, three of those, three of each. Three characters, three attributes. All right, and from that hand, you're, you got the worst hand I've ever seen in this game. <laughs> You got one shot. You got one shot right there. Listen, I'm an impartial judge. I'm not here, but, but that's a terrible hand. Um, I just want to put all it right. out. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to, out of that hand, you're going to choose one white card and one black card. So you're going to pick one character. You're going to give them one attribute with the goal being, as I said, who would be the best in a fight? Who will survive the longest against the other three fighters? When you're ready with those cards, you're going to put them face down in front of you. And... Oh, M.T. Anderson's ready. Would you like to say something about your mountain of confidence that you have? I'm going to kick ass. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. One of the nice things about this game is uh, you get rid of all of your cards at every hand, so you always get new cards. What are you doing? What's going on? Right? Do you want to talk about? These are your discards, right? Oh, all right. <laughs> okay, but I, I, I might throw you a curveball on that one, though. Okay, so... Everybody ready? One and one. And then the rest of your cards, what do you do with the cards you do not want to play? We're going to shove those out here. We're going to put them face up so we don't get them mixed up. So you're not stuck with cards all night. You're always getting rid of your cards. Every turn, you get a new hand. All right. We're going to start over here with Empty Empty. Why don't you tell everybody what you're coming at them with? Okay. My warrior in this little battle is Iron Man. His special power is that his top half is another card from my hand the Mario Brothers. So you're really facing two Mario Brothers bifurcating after the lower half of Iron Man. Beat that. The problem, this is the some conjoined that, twin terror descending upon you. All of Iron Man's powers are in his top half. You basically, like, even, still got, his, still got even his propulsion. What about his jetpack? No, his, his jetpack is on his back. Yep. <laughs> and his propulsion is in his hands. Like, not, you basically are a true. guy in pants. That's not canon. That's not true. <laughs> Metal pants. Iron pants. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you got this, like, could weird... could run really well. You're right. Can Italian... he run faster than Mario's bottom half? I don't know. <laughs> Does Mario have a star? All right. Oh, but it's not over yet. I, you know, I'm going to have you go next. Desiree, what are you fighting All this right. So um, my uh, fighter is Katniss, oh. which I think beats everyone and everything in a blimp. <laughs> <laughs> she's got range. Yes. And she's just going to park up there. Yeah, the sky, and right? I, sh I know she's skilled. She won't pop her own blimp, but even if she does, she'll have all that range to shoot arrows out. So I got it covered, y'all. It's yep. pretty good. It's pretty good. I right, love what do you got? It's over right here. <laughs> I got Mr. Rogers. <laughs> what do you guys got to say? <laughs> Mr. Rogers, and he has super speed. 
But it's true. He can only move when his opponent blinks. So I want you to picture it. You're Katniss in the blimp. You're Iron Luigi, whatever. Yes. <laughs> and you're just standing there, and you think, it's all right, it's Mr. Rogers is over there. Over there. And then you're trying to keep your eyes open. You, it's, your eyes watering. You're just, I, I got to blink. And you do, and he's right up in your grill. He's like, right here. Unfortunately, sucker, four pairs of eyes over here. <laughs> it's the perfect power. Oh. It's a your he turn to blink. Oh, you guys blink. change That's your shoes blinking. on the steps as you will. <laughs> I am not going to go let you go off to the neighborhood of make-believe, my friend. <laughs> I'm just telling you, nobody punches Mr. Rogers. You can't do it. <laughs> the power, you don't have that in you. No one has that inside them. He's not wrong. All right, Sarah, what's <laughs> next? I might want to just give up now, actually. I don't want to do this to Mr. Rogers. Okay, um, I am a unicorn. Um, and I am armed with a shotgun that shoots shotguns. <laughs> I want you Aren't all to you think just... about that for a second. <laughs> Aren't you just enabling lots of people to shoot back at you that way? <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. The other shotguns are not loaded. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're just blunt objects to hit you really hard with. Well, you know what? I could use two of those right over here. <laughs> I think the shotguns are larger than Mario and Luigi, and they couldn't lift them with their puny arms, and the iron legs would be useless. <laughs> Your iron pants mean nothing. <laughs> iron, iron pants. All right, it's not over yet. Each of you have to take a random attribute and add it to your fighter. Then you'll be ready. So, MT oh, Anderson, what have you got? That's the black one. <laughs> take a random one. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, Made what? of you kittens. <laughs> Made of kittens. <laughs> okay, that's a good question, though, because would you have a harder time punching Mr. Rogers or Luigi Iron Man made of kittens? <laughs> I'm still going to go with Mr. Rogers. Rogers yeah. Uh, yeah, the kittens are going to scatter around yeah. that punch anyway. You yeah. know, get all moody about it. I don't think it's, yeah. Yeah, it'll be like that Terminator 2 thing. You'll hit it, and it'll just have a hole uh -huh. in it of kittens yep. just running a loop. Yep. Yeah, but hey, have you never tried to actually wash a cat, for example? Those things are dangerous. Why are we washing the cat? I'm I not if, I, if I'm going to feed it a pill, then that would be a problem. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Maybe I'm re it's a lifestyle mistake I've made too often. <laughs> <laughs> I should stop trying to wash other people's cats. <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Desiree, what you got? So I now have Katniss in a blimp carrying a baby. <laughs> Which that is really going to interfere with your ability to I, shoot I, arrows. But you know what? She's, she's an Amazon in disguise. You know, it's just like, I don't need that boo. Put the baby here. Got this over. And also, it makes me like an empathetic figure. Like, there's nothing more protective than a mother. Like, I'll kill everybody. I'm going to shoot everybody's it, eyes is out. It, I don't is care. It Katniss's baby, it's about my though, baby. Or is it like a random baby on the street? Uh, you're you right. Know? It could be a random baby. I'm, I'm just, uh, she, she takes it on as her own. Do you know what I mean? You can't carry a baby for too long without caring about it unless you're a monster. Katniss is a little bit, cat, I think the Hunger Games might have made Katniss into a person who could not care about a baby. Mm, I don't know, that's in the, the next book. Yeah, see, they Wait, disagree. I, I, think it depends, I think it depends on how old Katniss is in this scenario. Is it like immediately post-games Katniss? This is like 10 years later after the a, Lifetime like special has been made. Is this, is, this a, is this a pita baby or a gale baby? Oh my God. I, <laughs> what, what flavor baby is it? Well, a pita baby doesn't worry me, a gale baby. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I, like, my heart wants to say a pita baby, yeah. but my mother protector mind is like, that's a gale baby. <laughs> Daddy's home. All right, Mr. Rogers, what happened to you? Well, <clears throat> things have gotten a little worse for you guys. No. Now, you've got a picture Mr. Rogers, and he is he's super speed when you blink. So, you know, over there, and then right here, Mr. Rogers can now kill with a kiss. I, that doesn't worry me, though. Wow. Mr. Rogers, no, picture him. He's taking off his, you know, he's taking off his little slippers that he does at the beginning mm -hmm. of the show. He's yeah. got his cardigan on, and then, boom, he's right up here, and he's puckering up. 
Mr. Rogers might literally be the human being in all of existence that I least want to kiss. Like, whoa, really? Could, no, I would hug him. A lot him. of human beings I would hug in him existence. And want him to you don't be have like to make. Grandpa. You don't have to make out with Mr. Rogers. But it's just he, like a little peck. If he gives you a paternal peck. kiss on the head, you're dead. Yeah. It's it totally deadly. Oh. With or without tongue. <laughs> I, I think he's short. Mr. Rogers doesn't need a tongue to kill you. Right, on, just right on the forehead. Sarah, you're making this weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the I'm not Mr. Rogers kissing people. I don't think I'm the one. That's making not it weird. weird. <laughs> it's a little weird. All right. Uh, he spends unicorn. half his time with his hand up the back of an owl. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I think Mr. Rogers is the one making this weird. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, unicorn. What happened All to right. you? So my unicorn is armed with a shotgun that shoots shotguns, and it controls the weather. Oh, damn. Ooh, That's bad so news for a blimp. So suddenly dirigible. the blimp can't yeah. fly ah, because it is no longer acceptable. But my baby. <laughs> yeah. Three words. Oh, the humanity. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm pretty sure the weather is going to make Mr. Iron Pants rust. And also, cats hate water, so if it's raining, you're doomed. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Huh. And if I can just tornado Mr. Rogers away from me, then he couldn't kiss me. Mm. Unless you blinked. And then yes. <laughs> I'm a it's unicorn. An Unicorns don't blink. I think that you should actually now tweet, if I can just tornado Mr. Rogers away from me, then he won't kiss me. <laughs> the world will wonder what's going on here. I'm fairly confident that somebody in this audience is already tweeting that. Yes, yes, heads will explode. At Sarah Janet is my handle if you're looking. <laughs> okay, uh, do any of you have anything else to say before the audience decides your fate in this arena? It doesn't look like it. So, we're gonna go, we're gonna start from this way, by noise. Who thinks it's the unicorn shoots shotguns that shoot shotguns and controls the weather? <laughs> Who's going Weeping Angel Rogers? Yeah, no. I, I warned you. I warned you. I don't, I don't know. That was yeah. pretty close. <laughs> I feel like I should do it again. All right, uh, what did you have again? Katniss <laughs> in a blimp with uh, a baby. Who uh, thinks it's that? Uh, thank you, I appreciate it, but it's that Remember blimp. that her blimp is powerless. <laughs> Don't forget, two of us up here. <laughs> <laughs> and all made of kittens. Super kitten brothers. Oh my God. <laughs> what did you do to these people? Oh my God. He's got my a bunch of wet kittens in iron pants. Nobody is winning in that fight. <laughs> Unbelievable. You could have had a bowl of guacamole and gotten more claps than you got just now. People were just like, oh, I'm so yeah. sick of stuff made out of kittens. I'm not clapping in for that. In iron pants. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wet kittens. Don't forget the wet kittens yeah. part. Uh, okay, well, even though it was close, congratulations, Weeping Angel Rogers. You will keep that as your point. All I'm not even mad. I can't win. be mad about you Mr. Rogers be. You winning. shouldn't be. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to have you, you know what? That worked out pretty well. Um, no, uh, let's do it again. You know what? Let's do it again. Let's do another battle royale. We got enough cards for it. So all of you load up again, three and three. Minute. Are you guys just voting for him because you like him best? That is not how this game works. That is how everything yeah. in the world works. <laughs> His super fight has integrity. It's his hair? I think if we're having a contest for who has the best hair on this stage, Lev is not going to win that contest. Oh, no. Wow, this is... You guys remember that one time I was standing behind Lev, and I was like, ha, ah, you got the worst hand I've ever seen. <laughs> you thought I was going to go for the Sharnik, didn't you? You, you made it work. Yeah, yeah it's... Wow. Ah, one of each. I don't know if that works with this crowd, Sarah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they're open to pandering. Uh, 
Ah, that's going to come around. Do it. Do it. It's a crowd pleaser. Not yet. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> you guys just hang out. We're going to talk for a while. <laughs> no, no, no. You're fine. It's okay that you pulled it. Right. It's a good card, too. It's a good card. All right. Uh, let's start on this side this time. Sarah, what you got? All right. Apparently, this is going to work because I chose the player to my left. <laughs> nice. Since you all apparently like him the best, I'm going to use that to my advantage. And he is locked in a shark cage. <laughs> the right place for him, too. Yes. I feel so uncomfortable with this on so many levels. <laughs> are you Mainly in the shark cage level. You would but, try to kiss you know. me with Mr. Rogers. Yes, you are not tongue. in a position. I'm also looking no, forward right. to your Time Magazine bylines <laughs> in a shark cage. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, uh, hang on a second, Sarah. I just want to talk to you for a second. It's, it's just you and me right now. Um, <laughs> so you're supposed to be fighting the other people? And you locked yourself in a shark cage. Yeah, but they can't get to me. Oh, yeah, that's He's a good call. That's yeah. a good call. Yeah, it's true. true. Good, good, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no, he seems good. wily enough to, like, kick through the bars, but nobody can get to me to do whatever weird crap they're going to do with those cards. It's a good cards. call. It's a good call. All right, Lev, what have you got? And you're, you're surrounded by sharks, right? No, there's no sharks. I'm just in a shark cage. <laughs> yep. Every shark cage comes a shark with cage sharks. As a shark cage, then. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just a cage. No. <laughs> there have got to be sharks involved. No, it's like a specific model of cage. You don't yeah. go to like. Really, you go online. Oh, yeah, shark no. cage. No, of course it is. I mean, like a cage you put like your dog in is not going to be the same as a shark cage. A shark cage is superior. Wait, yeah. What? <laughs> I I really want to know what they said. Yeah. What did you say? <laughs> Hang on, I want to hear this. What you've got opinions about shark cages? What is it? Oh, it's stronger. Yes. Yeah. It's stronger. It yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah. sharks. Or is it yeah. made? Is oh, someone else also said something about weird sex things, but we're not good. This is a this is a family friendly event. <laughs> That's how some families are made. <laughs> Sand. So your Gale baby, different. your Gale baby happened in a shark cage. I'm is just what you're saying, me. you know, Gale was into more interesting stuff than a cat in his first imagined. I think. <laughs> This just got very weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's extra weird because my character in the Shark Tank is Lev. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Lev, I'm, how on I'm earth? Still, I'm still grappling with that. Um, uh, this one, th my cards make me sad. Are you going for the sympathy vote? No, no, it's just sad. It's sad that you guys, that you guys can't defeat um, Martha Stewart when she's ten stories tall. <laughs> Ooh. Ten stories tall, Martha Stewart can still go to jail. Yeah, she can. She can go to ten story tall jail. <laughs> Strong as a shark cage. Shark cage jail, that's right. The <laughs> angle bracelet. She's uh -huh. going to be yeah. kicking you with it. <laughs> but, you know, she'll decorate the hell out of, like, skyscrapers. Yes. <laughs> it's going to look good. Yeah, so far you've just offered huge Martha Stewart just a rattle toy. Just a little lev in a cage. She's just going to just... <laughs> Toss it away. So hopefully <laughs> your next card will work out for you. All right, Desiree, what have you so got? So I have an octopus, which as we know are very intelligent and ornery and can do everything with eight arms, raised by a, uh, raised by a pack of wild polar bears. <laughs> yes, and we both know how, uh, we all know how ferocious polar bears are. So one, I'm definitely going to unlock your cage and get your lev out, and then I'm just going to just go for blood all over that, because I'm all <laughs> underwater there. I feel like an octopus raised by polar bears would have, like, literally no useful life skills. <laughs> <laughs> Grabbing and eating, what else do you need for life? But, like, the skills that polar bears possess would not apply to an octopus's upbringing. What? They can open Coke, Coke bottles. Can, yep, Coke bottles. I can they open can eight Coke sledding. bottles at once. <laughs> they build snowmen mm -hmm. and snow forts. Yeah, I don't exactly. think octopuses can survive in that environment. Well, I mean, but I think the polar bears came to where I was because I was such well, an the attractive polar bears octopus. Are dead, and then you're an abandoned <laughs> octopus in the middle. No, of I the know, world. but that orphan orphanage like made me hungry for <laughs> vengeance. You know, that made me even angrier because my polar bear parents were gone. Yeah. Don't speak about this unless you've also grown up in a polar bear orphanage. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Check your human Do you know privilege, Sarah. That I didn't. <laughs> You know that Lev Grossman in a shark cage didn't? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like I should point out that I just met all of these people either yesterday or today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this already feels quite inappropriate. Yeah. And you won't be seeing us again. 
<laughs> Possibly for legal reasons. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, I, I, I had no hope for victory. So I am the Illuminati. <laughs> Made of guacamole. Ah. <laughs> Secretly dip and die, people. <laughs> Guacamole confirmed. I told you. I told you they would like that. Yeah. I wasn't wrong. All right. <laughs> oh, God. All right, MT, let's see what you got. Flip over your random attribute. Uh, oh, this one? Guacamole. Oh, no. Guacamole? <laughs> oh, yes. This is, this is such a messy person to be. I'm the Illuminati. That is to say, I'm spread among you secretly, made of guacamole, and, but I explode if I stop moving. So? We are talking a big green mess. A constantly I undulating no hope guacamole. For no I, I have no say, hope for victory. You would be very hard to capture. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Martha Stewart might have something to say, though, about my seasoning. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Someone said to put it in the shark tank, but the shark tank could not contain guacamole. Uh, it's just <laughs> going to dissipate everything. A shark and bowl, like a shark oh. serving dish, maybe. Um. <laughs> The nachos or the, the tortilla chips would be really soggy, though, for that guacamole, which <laughs> kills everything, really. The tortilla chips, shaped, in fact, like, like a pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> I see what True. you did there. Wow. True. We're behind yeah. it all. Uh -huh. That was some next guacamole. level shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, stuff. Next level stuff. Well, I don't get what you can actually do except for know everything and not move. Or, you know, no, no. keep never moving, moving. Never, never stop, stop moving. moving, never stop constantly quivering for some reason. <laughs> isn't there, isn't there, is it Monty Python that has the, or some, it's one of those old that has like the blamange that like is con uh, Oh, yeah, the, yeah, a blamange from outer space that invades like is Scotland. That, is that, that's not Python, is it? it it's Monty Python, yeah. According to the audience, it's ba 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 ba. Okay, that person right there knows what it is. Say it again. Is that is that Monty Python? Yeah, okay. It's Monty Python, yeah. Amazing. My childhood has not failed me. All right, Desiree, what's going on? Um, oh, second do I, black card. Oh, hello, hello. Okay, all right. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm <laughs> an octopus raised by a pack of wild polar bears that is armed with Cupid's bow. Oh, I want to tell yes. you something. A 10 so, foot tall Martha Stewart's a well, big Well, I can totally shoot Martha Ten Stewart, story. make her fall in love with that uh, shark cage and redecorating it and just living inside of it. <laughs> that sorts her out. Um, you're already guacamole. Everybody loves that. Um, <laughs> I, can, I can shoot the aluminum. I, I don't even know. I think you're just sorted. Um, and um, yeah, no, I mean, I, I got all y'all. You're just in, inside a shark cage. They, they, there are spaces for me to shoot through, shark right? Tank. Okay, so I've, I've shoved Martha in the shark cage. But with she's in jail. How did you get her in there? Um, well, she was already in a cage. It was really easy to do a switcheroo. But I she's think. ten stories tall. How did you fit her in my left grossman large. size shark tank? I mean, I don't know. They make custom shark tanks apparently for all interesting sorts of activities. So I'm <laughs> sure that there's a ten story tall shark cage, you know, to keep away from really big sharks and things like that. So we get her. It oh, could even be the Martha Stewart line. Yes. Oh. Yeah, Martha Stewart for Target. 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 Yeah. For Kmart. Yeah, she'll. <laughs> I want to hear the origin story where Lev Grossman decided, you know what? Now's the time. I'm buying that 10-story tall, tall, <laughs> tall star, shark cage. That's a hard thing to say. He's just like, I know it's just for me, but... That's someone's free NaNoWriMo idea for next month. <laughs> <laughs> All right, love. All right. 10 stories tall, Martha Stewart. And she has... She's armed with a, a uh, poppy musket. Yeah. Oh no, you read that is right. That a, is that a euphemism? <laughs> <laughs> is that a weird sex thing, Poppy Musket? No. <laughs> For a guy who buys 10-story tall shark cages, it probably yeah, is. That's yeah, not yeah. weird. So yeah. I That's guess a really healthy Does, your, does your musket shoot puppies, or is your musket made of puppies? It's, it's so hard to know. And I keep thinking about the shark cage. Is it made of sharks? <laughs> or <is> it, <laughs> it's like the Poppy Musket. Is it, you know? It, uh, it shoots puppies. It's made, it's, maybe it's made of puppies and it shoots puppies. Slow firing, it's a you puppy gotta like that shoots other them down with puppies. a stick. But is it like, is it made of puppies like the Schloter? stabbing part on the How end? How do you think we won the war? <laughs> okay, I've been oh, listening to already. a musical about the American Revolution for two weeks straight. I could actually talk about that a little bit. Puppy muskets? 
just muskets in general. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned a lot. It's very educational. That it's section cool. wants that to happen. Yeah, I, I talked <laughs> to some people about it in the, uh, in the hallway already. That's awesome. Okay. Now let's talk about real things. What's going on? Lev Grossman locked in a shark cage and is armed with a tranquilizer That's gun. That's so on brand. Yeah. <laughs> it's non-lethal. It's humane. But it stops all of you. Is guacamole affected by tranquilizer dark? Oh, come on. Of course not. But don't worry, because I'm self-exploding anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you stop I'm moving. A, a dubious threat at best. <laughs> I feel like if I shot you with Cupid's bow while you shot at me with the Trank gun, like, if, I think if we met, we would just, I don't know, have a lovely nap together or something <laughs> and cuddle a lot. Like the greatest. Maybe we could, like, team up and take out the other two. I, I'm for that because he's just guac, man. <laughs> really gotta just worry about this one. <laughs> So if we tranquilized Martha Stewart and then shot her with Cupid's bow to make her fall in love with, love the, guacamole. with the guacamole, which is totally feasible. That's a real match made in heaven. Yeah. Yep. But don't forget, we, the guacamole Illuminati, are everywhere. She can only fall in love with a certain number of us. The rest of us will still be swarming you You're underestimating Martha Stewart. We'll be swarming you all, exploding, you know? <laughs> and then we'll be covered in guac. Oh, no. <laughs> well, then someone might double dip. <laughs> <laughs> So, somebody here is presumably allergic to avocados. It would be, could be fatal in that scenario. Oh, see? I told you. Getting a lot, getting a There's lot always of woos one. From the left side. <laughs> that was a pretty enthusiastic woo for being <laughs> allergic to an avocado. Because it's not often that the, you know, the avocado uh, you know, yes. uh, uh, <laughs> allergy crowd, community allergy crowd is crowd recognized. Crowd. Appreciate exactly, that. Yeah. Yeah. Not a lot That's of shout outs for the, for the yeah. allergy crowd. That section's reserved for people who know about shark cages, who <laughs> are way into I'm guacamole. Have an pen. True, he or almost, the, he almost ate a fatal yeah. nut at lunch today. It was quite dramatic. What is that? Is that a flare? What did you just pull out of your bag? It's an EpiPen. After I chose the first oh, yeah, two I know. cards, I, I know. I know that's a flare. <laughs> Whoops. All right, so let's start on this side. So, uh, okay, oh, you so, ain't. No, no. You are you voted, still arguing? I was first last time. I should not be first this time, because maybe, okay. maybe people's enthusiasm right. towards Lev Grossman and Shark Tank with a tranquilizer gun needs to build. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me say, uh, if you could flip your cards back up for me. Would you do just throw them away? Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> you did. You, you actually done. did. Just the done. least threatening okay. guacamole in history. Uh, yeah, here we go. All right, so who thinks it is the Illuminati made a guacamole explodes if they stop moving? Bow before me. Wow. Bow before tasty me. <laughs> Incidentally, Sarah, that's why I was going that way. Uh. <laughs> That was going to happen. All right. Or uh, who thinks it's uh, Polar Octopus Cupid? Oh, come on. Yeah. Uh, it yes. was close. Thank you. Uh, all right. We're going to have to do that one over again. But while we're going over here, so 10-story uh, tall, tall uh, puppy musket Martha Stewart. <laughs> I didn't make the case. I didn't make the yeah. case. Yeah. <laughs> Although if you win with me, does that mean that I really win? Yeah. That's a good question. Is that just rebound back to me? That's like a very meta me. question. Yeah. <laughs> That's why she locked you in a shark cage. All right, so <laughs> who thinks it's Lev in a shark cage with a tranquilizer gun? It's between these two over here. All right. We'll make it simple. <laughs> Okay, guac. <laughs> I think I think extra points yes. for guacalotti. Yeah, actually. that's a meme now. Guacalotti, that, that was fantastic. It would be guacanati, right? Yeah. Guacanati. Guacanati. I need you all to sign an NDA. Guacanati. Octopus polar bear. Octopus polar bear. <laughs> Join me, all of you. <laughs> you guys are really ignoring the threat of the Illuma Moly. Uh huh. <laughs> The They're 30 everywhere. people who j are just coming back from dinner out in the hallway heard all of that. <laughs> <laughs> I also feel like hell? we haven't discussed the fact that you would have to pay extra. For <laughs> yes. For the, for the, for the, you know how expensive that and like, stuff is. They don't even tell you how much it's going to be. They're yeah, just you like, just get the bill. Hey, you, we'll figure it out later on guacamole. And it's like, <laughs> but you do it anyway because it's so yeah, delicious. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, doing it again here. All right. <laughs> what was it, guaca what? Guacanati. 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 It says it's Guacanati. Yeah. The fact, the fact that people have an actual like hand signal for this makes me think you just started a cult. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Polar puss. Yes. 
Polar Puss, Polar Puss, Polar Puss. Wow. Yes. Late surge for Polar Puss. Uh -huh. All right, you know what? Unless, I, call, I think that was still close. Here's how we break a tie in Super Fred. I want each of you to take a white card. Okay. And with no black cards, fight to the death. <laughs> Pick any Robin Williams character. <laughs> nanu Nanu. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. All Nobody right. has Mork ever Mork. gone Mork with that. Yeah. I've seen Patch goddamn Adams mm -hmm. before I've seen <laughs> Mork. Or you saw Mork. Like Patch oh, Adams? Like Mrs. Doubtfire? Yeah. yeah, I've seen Mrs. Doubtfire come up. <laughs> Mork. Mork's good. Yeah. Well... I got hamburger helper, so... I will literally eat you uh, yes, for dinner. but I will confuse you and then you will puke because that is my special power as hamburger helper. <laughs> Disguising terrible meats so that you eat them and are doubled over the toilet for days. <laughs> so uh -huh. sort of like Mark calling Orson, ugh! Yep, yep, uh-huh, <laughs> nanu <laughs> yep. That's what's happening. <laughs> I, I know I'm not allowed to because I made this game, but man, I love the Hamburger Helper card. Yes. <laughs> I love it. It's such a, a good card. Guy, like he's a glove or he's yeah. a hand. It's yeah, just yeah. like, yeah. just, yeah. I can't even, yeah, no way people can do joke, it. But him. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> who says it's Mork? <laughs> They're still voting for Guacanati. They are. <laughs> they are. <laughs> you hamburger can't argue helper. with a guy who starts a cult. <laughs> Man, <laughs> to think, to think Hamburger Helper was what pushed us over the edge. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's the first time that's ever happened. Ever happened. <laughs> <That's hilarious. Yep. laughs> yes. All right. Guacanati Good job, is now everybody. both a cult and a hashtag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hamburger we, Helper. Is there, have you guys in the audience agreed on a spelling on that? I think there, I and feel then, like there could be some discussion there. All right. So dump all your cards. Are these the cards you used before? All right. Start. Let's do it again. Three white, three black. All right. God, this is a recipe. That's going to be on the Chili's menu within a yes. week. You watch. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you should, you should totally Two for Tuesday. <laughs> That's a good point. So while you're all drawing up your cards, for yeah. those of you who are into this game, there is a, uh, my second game is coming out this month called Red Flags, which is the same premise, but you're making dates for each other. Yes. So that oh one. Full of red flags. That I'm not even a good chill, one. and it sounds great. Hilarious. Yeah, you all already. make it like try to make a good date for the person, and then you all have to draw a red flag. Which is like, I had to make a choice last week where uh, she wouldn't eat unless I played her aer airplane with her food. <laughs> There's a choice between her or a date who could literally not make decisions ever. And so I was like, no, I'm going airplane. So, what's that? Superfight, uh, superfightgame.com. So, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, same thing one white card, one black card. Thank you, M.T. Anderson, for the pitching idea. All right, uh, let's start from the center out. Is that cool? Can we do that? All right, yes. Desiree, what you got? All right, so it says pick a comic book character. Um, oh, they're going to judge the shit gonna out of you. Uh, I'm just going to pick what? They're going to judge you so I hard know, no matter what I you know, I know, because I, I, I was going to not do that because my uh, range is limited. Don't pick Archie or Veronica. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely won't. Jughead. Um, I, I feel like I just want to pick Batman. Um, so That's I'm going to pick Batman. He's very, very versatile. Um, what's that? He was just a what with an affinity? Oh, oh, I see it. Yes, I told exactly. you this was going to happen. Yeah, Plus, see, that guy back there is like, I can't believe she didn't pick Wolverine. <laughs> I apologize to you each. All right. But it's Batman inside a giant robotic. Oh, yeah. What is it? Two horses in a man costume. Yeah. <laughs> that I, is complicated. Yeah, that really just raises is. so many questions. I, it's just this Russian stacking It's like a Trojan doll horse of terror. Uh, uh, made of... So, yes, exactly. Okay, so a giant robot. I, I have some questions about which Batman you are, though. Are you like 60s Adam West Batman? Or no, are you I'm like, like, I can do stuff and not be in tights. Are you like, weird. I'm Batman. Are you Batman? <laughs> I, in my mind, I'm Michael Keaton Batman, because that was my yeah, Batman. That's good. That's good. 
That's good. He's not bad, but his villains are kind of crappy. Yeah, well, you know, but I don't have to be them. I can be me inside of a giant robotic two horses in a man costume, which I'm fighting to understand right now, actually. That um, dude is just showing off his credit line at this point. He's like, I'm so rich. I made robotic horses inside a robotic man. And then I marched around in it. I'm waiting. I expect by this time tomorrow there will be fan art of this scenario. Yes. <laughs> Please tweet that to One me. This you. is amazing. But yeah, I think I'm going to uh, intimidate most. I'm just going to put that out there. I think I will be laughing too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. You're done. You'll be doubled over in the ground. <laughs> Let's talk about this for a second. The fact that I'm that's Mark <laughs> down the street. You're laughing? <laughs> that like actual thing is coming down your block, I'd and you're so, going to laugh. I'd be so confused <laughs> trying to figure out what was yes. happening. So, wait, yeah. wait, sorry. Batman is inside. Sorry, this is a, he's inside a giant robotic, two horses. In, so it's like the man costume is the outer shell. Yes, yeah. it's within a man. that the two horses. There are two horses. All of this robotic is robot. Yeah. And then within that is Batman. Lies Batman controlling the horses and the larger robot. You're, you're man. telling me this is coming down your street so and you are is not Batman laughing. <laughs> within one of the horses, or is it like a horse witch with like a Batman inside? <laughs> Yes, it is. <laughs> Batman is turduckened inside Batman. of the giant robotic two horses in a man costume. So once you get to the, even if you get through the robot, there's still horses or a, a inside, inside of that robot man. And even if you get past the horses kicking, they're still flipping Batman. You know, funny so. story, this is actually what uh, happened in the Iliad in the version before they said, <laughs> let's just do a Trojan horse. Let's cut out like one of the horses, man. the man suit and Batman. The, the just, editor, we'll keep the his, rest. Edi his editor was like, this is too much, it's too many, you gotta go, you gotta pull it I Batman. love what you've done here, I love it. I love the creativity, but... <laughs> it's a little hard to follow. <laughs> You guys hear about that new clay tablet they found that had the robot Batman, robot horse, Batman, <laughs> robot horse? It's pretty cool. Yes, that was cool. a destroyed scroll that's been recovered. All right, Lev. What are I you feeding I, to that? I don't know why we're even bothering to play the rest of this, land, this hand. Um, I have a mermaid, which I, I know, I know. It's, it's sort, of, sort of sexy, sort of fishy. But <laughs> the mermaid uh, possesses, uh, I, I can draw and play two random attributes from the deck. All right, let's see it happen. Draw I and can play. draw and play two random attributes from the deck. For your mermaid. For my mermaid. My mermaid has two, has two attributes. Well, I don't even need the other attributes. Three. I'm going to stand on the land, and your mermaid will be able to do nothing. All right. The mermaid is armed with a bow and unlimited arrows. Nice. This is like the least funny one. Yeah, it's robot suit. It's, I'm yeah, not It's bothered. a mermaid. It's got a bow and arrows. <laughs> Next. Uh, and, it, and it throws <laughs> antiques. <laughs> Really hard. Maybe it throws them really hard and far. Yeah. I don't know. And there's someone just, no, not the Ming. No. <laughs> <laughs> the Antiques Roadshow guy is like flinging himself in yes. front of you. Yes. But you know, the beautiful credenza tablet. would be marred by being in salt water anyway. Mm -hmm. you know? Yes. It's, <laughs> it's true. All right, Sarah. Yeah. No, it's true. Definitely All right. lower the value. Mm. I feel I nostalgic for 10 story tall. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Those were do. the days. <laughs> All right, I have a vampire slayer, which frankly, I don't even need this because I'm a vampire slayer, so what do I even need? But I am armed with poison designer cupcakes. So first, I will entice you with my delicious cupcakes and you will die when you eat them. But even if you don't like cupcakes, I will then just stake you and it's game over. So Stake you with Mr. Pointy. It sounds like... Yeah. It sounds like you need there. an actual vampire to slay, and there isn't one of those about. Also, how are you going to get through my robotic iron two horses? Batman in a man loves costume? baked goods, so he gets well, out of his I robot horse I never read that man. story. <laughs> I can't even get out of the robotic horses to get the baked goods. So I'm just going to have to sit there and uh, count my Weight Watchers points and not have those. <laughs> Why you guys are working it out, bam, credenza. <laughs> <laughs> Chippendale, right upside the head. You never see that coming. Wait, a Chippendale like the dancers? Like the male review dancers, Chippendales? Yes. <laughs> she throws They're those two. Those are, those are antiques now? I am getting old. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. MD um, Anderson. I'm clear and simple. Velociraptor wearing a jetpack. Oh, wait, yeah, 
need those. You need those. That's I feel like a velociraptor would not know what to do with a jetpack and, yeah, and would, just would take struggle off. to put it oh, on, come on like with their short arms. They're highly arms. intelligent, as someone here just said. You no, saw that's not the that. I'm not saying that they're not smart enough. I'm saying like physically they smart enough would not to eat cupcakes. <laughs> Are they? Flesh, flesh, flesh. It's up there just like on bat robot things, just tearing it open. And he's just like, clever girl. <laughs> <laughs> I want to kill myself for saying that, but... All right, so, wow. God, this is the dumbest fight I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I don't think you can say Let that about any fight this, that involves yeah, a vampire slayer. All right, let's get your random attributes. Let's do it. You know what? I don't even want, I don't want any more. No more attributes. Yeah, <laughs> <Let's>, <laughs> it's too much. Let's fight like this. Who says, unless you really want a random attribute, do you? All right, do it. They want it. They want it. I was trying to squeeze. We'll still have time for another fight. Oh, this is what we get. Buffy has many great powers, <clears throat> and she is an excellent character, but she is also a piñata. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Filled with poison <laughs> cupcakes! <laughs> I didn't see that coming. That's amazing. You are made to destroy. <laughs> <laughs> Five-year-old children at a party. Death is my gift, and also party favor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, love, go okay. for it. Right. I really hope it's something inside something else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is an all projectile weapons mermaid. Bow and unlimited arrows, throws antiques, also throws bullets. Wait, why do you have three cards? Didn't we just take, oh, because I had two initially. Uh, do you remember that bit when I had to take two cards? Oh, it yeah, sorry. Right? <laughs> it's just throwing stuff. Yeah, it just throws a lot of and stuff. And one of those mermaid, things is none bullets. None of it is reaching any of us because we're all inland, but he's just throwing. Yeah. Throwing bullets. Yep. <laughs> I, but yeah, there's a nice stack of end tables piling up on the shore, though. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna redecorate my house. After the battle, we can go down there and browse. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you can you you can outfit your peering into the credenza and horsemen. then <laughs> boom, bullet lightly tossed just goes off, off your head and really annoys you. Yeah, it's frustrating. The end. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Batstrosity. All right, <laughs> yes, I am a Batstrosity. I'm still Batman inside a giant robotic two horses in a man costume, utterly impenetrable. I don't know what any of you guys are thinking. Um, and I'm nine feet tall. So we're done here. We're wait, done here. Is, so. is Batman nine feet tall? <laughs> is Batman nine feet tall or is your horse... Horses in a man suit robot. If Batman's nine feet tall, you might be quite cramped, cramped in, there. in that. <laughs> that yeah. yeah, the horses no, 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 are not the, small. The, the robotic yeah. two horses in a man costume is proportional. Yeah, so I mean, I wouldn't yeah, yeah, build scales. a normal man right, size two you know horses you inside it? costume Isn't if I was nine feet tall. Did she build Love Grossman's shark cage? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, she did. No, 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 no. Clearly, this size of man shape. Man, horses in a man costume was created by Martha Stewart's Target line that we talked about yes. earlier. Because she's ten stories tall. Yes. Exactly. Licensed to Wayne Industries. All the nine foot <laughs> yes. tall car did is it made it to where after he murders all of you, he can dunk on you. That's <laughs> you know, like, oh no, I forgot you're a Velociraptor wearing a jetpack. Yeah. So this is not over. What do you guys up for the block? Right, let's right, see. exactly. And okay. I was trained to fight by. An, e an eagle. It makes sense. <laughs> yes, of course. Of course. Yeah. Go! Go! They were long years upon the mountaintop, my friend, with the eagle pointing, going, this way, this way, Velociraptor. <laughs> but if it's, if, it's the I, eagles, if it's the eagles from Lord of the Rings, all they will train you to do is show up way too late in the story to be any use. <laughs> <laughs> so you Ooh, all will soon. have destroyed yourselves when I arrive to pick up the pieces, most of which are actually really nice antiques. Yes. <laughs> really attractive. Line. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're going to squeeze one more game in after this. So who says it's the Vampire Slayer Pinata? Armed with designer dangerous cupcakes? Come on! <laughs> uh. Even that got more claps than your other thing that yeah. one time. <laughs> I just want that on the record that that happened. More you got more, more claps with your food that you're feeding to the other people. That thing is just the softest target I've ever seen, and they three people loved it. So... All right, who says it's the mermaid throwing antiques and bullets? You guys are so underestimating the mermaid. Yeah, right, yeah. antiques That's flying through the air. It's definitely riveting to watch. This whole bat thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Gotta say, I drew wisely. Maybe they forgot. Maybe they forgot what you had. So we'll see. Uh, the Velociraptor with a jetpack. <laughs> Trained to fight by an eagle. Is that? Is that? Did that win? Yeah, that one. That one. That oh one. Oh my goodness. All right, congratulations, Velociraptor Jetpack. That All right. was a heartbreaker. <laughs> Thank you. It really was. Final fight. Here we go. Each of you take three more white, three there more There should black. be a warning on this game to not wear mascara while you're playing it because you're going to laugh yeah. hard. And yeah. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? Because you're a man. <laughs> you're hired. <laughs> what? That's, what that, was, that was very me. narrow of me. You're a man who doesn't wear mascara. Pardon me. <sighs> oh, my gosh. Also, while they're drawing their cards, uh, hidden under four of your seats in the audience somewhere is an envelope that has to do with my storytelling project, Find the Starlight. Oh, look at all those people looking. And you get a car, and you get a car. So four of you have an envelope. If you find it, and you find the other three people, and work together with what's inside that envelope, there's something waiting for you. All right. Now that nobody's paying attention to you guys. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they're in pretty well, so you got to reach way down there. Wouldn't that be terrible if there just wasn't anything under the seat? What is that? Oh my God! Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we got fan art. That is amazing. You guys are fun. Where's the camera? Come on. That's great. Look at the screen. Look at the screen. Are you a mutant? How did you do this this Already fast? Already done. You're there incredible. You go. Are we move, getting move that? Move your finger. Move your finger. <laughs> yes. Oh wow. Oh wow. It's wow. yes. amazing. Who was that? Was it you? Did you? Who drew that? Who drew this? Show yourself. Who was this? Did they run away? Who? <laughs> oh. Well done. Oh. Well done. This is amazing. Yes. Everybody give it up for that We've person. We've seen the shape of things to come. Yep. Thank you. That means I still kind of won that one. Thank you. I still say you're a mutant. <laughs> Look at little Batman, like, sitting in the head. He's just, like, chilling yeah. in the head. Yeah. Yeah. So, but he's nine feet tall, so picture the, to scale, you know, the whole thing. Yeah. You guys, what if we're all just in that person's dream right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take this and tweet it after the show so mm. everyone can see it. All Amazing. right, let's go this way. M.T. Anderson, what have you got? You all are facing a senior citizen bowling team <laughs> <laughs> that shoots tear gas. I want to know what your other cards were that you chose the senior yeah, season what did, bowling what did, <laughs> what did you give up, M.T. Anderson? What did you not play? Oh, King Arthur. Oh. Womp womp. Yeah, nobody likes that. <laughs> wow. Senior citizen bowling team shoots tear gas versus... Uh, the Kool-Aid Man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. May have heard of. Uh, with frost breath. So yes, refreshing, I refreshing, like cooling, a slurpee, a slurpee a cooling. Kool yes, and then until you're frozen, and then I smash through you. <laughs> oh yeah, that's how I get you. <laughs> you just wait. I got some cards okay. here. Okay, all right. I want to bring up a fight that happened one time where the Kool Aid Man was fighting somebody who controlled the Death Star, and it was argued that the Kool Aid Man would just in an equator just smash through every wall of the Death Star. <laughs> <laughs> until the thing just imploded on itself. <laughs> the best things I've ever heard. That would be a great smash up though, like to have yeah. like, uh, you know, one of the scenes from Star Wars on there and then something like, <laughs> Kool-Aid, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, just, <laughs> amazing, amazing. All right, Lev, what have you got? Okay, I started strong and then I lulled you guys but into a sense of, a false sense of security by sucking for two rounds. But <laughs> I'm back and I'm back with Bruce Lee. Oh boy. <laughs> Who controls magnetism? Oh, uh, Bruce Lee who controls magnetism. Ooh, yeah, that's, actually cool. that's incredible. That I want to see that film. Make. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's another, actually that's another cool. Free like Batman idea. and the thing wasn't cool, but that's cool. <laughs> but once he does that, he's gonna want a cool, refreshing drink. <laughs> 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 He's just all like right, chest well. bumping people at this point. <laughs> <laughs> this is all I, I can do. Chest bump Bruce Lee. Just, like, if you're not yeah. a wall, I don't know what to do with Co you. Kool-Aid Man is kind of the original like dude bro, really. Yeah. Yeah. All bit. right. This is all. This, there's a lot riding on this, but I have got a dragon. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Riding in a chariot, pulled by two. <laughs> <laughs> Kindergarten classes. <laughs> oh, yep, yep, yep. 
You better hope they have a buddy yeah, system you going know. on. You, you know ain't going what? nowhere. Sorry, five-year-olds. <laughs> You're just whatever is going to happen to you. And then the dragon will fly out of his chariot and blow you all with his fire, and you're dead. <laughs> yeah, fan yes. art of the dragon with the kindergarten You've got chariot. three seconds. Oh, it's done. <laughs> it's done. He's got, he's got, it's pretty, he already shot a short film of it back there. <laughs> it's edited and everything. No, all it's right. claymation. It was a claymation. Claim film. Stop motion. <laughs> of a dragon just in a stupid chariot, like, why did I do this? <laughs> I'm a it magnificent a, like, monster. Wait, I could fly. Wait, wait, no, I have a question, though. Is it a two kindergarten dragon classes? Is it like dragon school? Because that's a very different question. No, those are human dumbass Why? kids. <laughs> Why in this fact-based game are you making <laughs> stuff up? Fuck. <laughs> oh. Oh, <laughs> liberties. You're taking liberties. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. My dragon does not need his chariot. He's a dragon. Nice. He's got human kindergartners. Like the Kool-Aid man who is frosty. Like, yeah, that's going to I'm going to put out that fire with my frost breath and my Kool-Aid red flavor drink. I'm going to evaporate your Kool-Aid, and then what are you then? You're just man. I'm, I'm, <laughs> don't forget. <laughs> wow. Oh. oh. Wow. Oh. Some deep-seated stuff coming out there. <laughs> In any case... Your whole set of kindergartners are going to be flattened, in fact, by my tear gas. Wow. <laughs> and then You're my tear gas. No, that's just my chariot. I don't, that's just my means of transportation. Yeah. I'm going to fly over them and, like, burn you alive. You're senior citizen bowlers. Yeah, but... Dragon's hide is impermeable to, to tear gas. I'm shooting tear gas. You can't breathe. No, You'll dragon's hide is impermeable to, to tear gas. You know, uh, fire. Everyone you knows that's ah, a fact. Ah, 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 ah. See what I mean? You won't be able to breathe. <laughs> You won't be able to breathe to shit out your fire. Dragons can <laughs> hold their breath scientific. for a really long time. I took a deep breath before I got to the tear gas. Oh, please. All right. You were expecting a senior citizen bowling team that shoots tear gas. <laughs> I always expect a senior uh -huh. citizen team with tear gas. Unbelievable. Tear gas is flammable, so I just, like, light you I on fire. I that, but I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> now, now we have... Taking care of the senior citizens' cremation needs, and uh -huh. you save them a little money. <laughs> I'm gonna make wow. sure to give your tear gas kindergartners some Kool Aid because that was messed up. Oh, no, you what don't happened have any Kool Aid. Remember, I <laughs> evaporated your Kool Aid, and now you're just man, I have and you are breath. grappling with your identity, and you have no time to fight a dragon. <laughs> Am I the only one fair, who confronted fair. with this Kool Aid character is not tempted to, or is tempted to make a Jim Jones joke? Uh huh. Oh. Too soon. No, no, too late. Too late. Yeah, I want to make everybody late. drink that Kool-Aid. Even Bruce Lee all refreshed. Too late. Nice. All right, M.T. Anderson. Let's add a random attribute. Oh, uh, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, now, this is terrifying. <laughs> the senior citizen bowling team that shoots tear, tear gas balancing on a circus ball. <laughs> I think I may be out of this one. I don't think we one really need to vote ball. on this yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> one but circus fascinating. ball. Fascinating. Um, <laughs> So I'm a Kool-Aid man with frost breath, let's not forget, right. dragon. Um, who can make a force field while holding breath? So, so you can only as, have, you can only have so, one at a time. But, but as, yes, but as I blow out my frost breath and freeze that fire, I hold my breath and am uh, barricaded against anything that you want to shoot at me. So this is going pretty well. Can uh, somebody really quickly just look man. up on Wikipedia what the Kool-Aid man's lung capacity is like? <laughs> I think it's that it's whole carafe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got, I feel, yeah, I think. It's not yeah. a carafe, it's more of a pitcher, really. A pitcher, fine, a yeah. pitcher. All right. <laughs> but yeah, but I guess once, well, hmm, let me get back to you. <laughs> I, think, I think that's a fair point, though. You can't hold your breath for that long. And once you do, I evaporate your Kool-Aid, and then we go back to the grappling with your identity and to crippled with, like, a lack of understanding of your sense of self. And, like, at that point, the dragon is just going to, like... <laughs> You've really been holding on to this for so long. <laughs> you guys also, are hugely gonna, are overthinking you, are you a, Is the Kool-Aid man a glass or a plastic pitcher? Glass. glass. Okay, then I'm going to melt you and sculpt you into something beautiful. <laughs> oh, are you trying to say the Kool-Aid man is not beautiful? Do you not like round-shaped objects? <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe I'll make you something a little more useful around my dragon's lair. Like, like a... Figurine shark of some cage, sort? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> glass shark cage. Yeah, glass. <laughs> All right, Lev. All right, we, you guys have forgotten about mag magnetic Bruce Lee, who I have privately dubbed Maglito. Yes. <laughs> you see what I did there, right? <clears throat> this is why the
why they give him the fancy newspaper phones. Yeah. Oh, he's armed with a machine gun. He's just got a machine gun. <laughs> he's it's like just, shooting you, and he's stopping the bullet right in front of your just, face. He's like, ah, and then he just lets it go. And then, <laughs> <laughs> Once again, though, I have dragon hide, so this is just, it's annoying. I will grant you that it is annoying. What? Talent. Yeah, they're saying Ooh. talent. Oh, they're saying talent. Talent. Talons. I'll yeah. oh, no, it, the question is Metallic. whether they're metallic scales. Metallic. Oh, metallic. And if Bruce Lee could simply extend his hand, Yep, like that, and then crumple you into little dragon tinfoil, and then I, I'm going to say that I am a non-metallic variant of dragon. Oh. Well, I'm going to say I'm a really huge pitcher of Kool-Aid then with a lot of space. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, dragon Xerxes. All right, my, my Go ahead chariot and, uh, kindergarten dragon <laughs> is covered in eyes instead of metal! <laughs> They are impermeable eyeballs, dragon hide, no metal. Nah. The tear gas would be a problem, I will give you yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really big problem. But I think that the circus ball would take care of the senior citizens before the tear gas even got involved. Yeah. Dragon's just like, what's up, suck? Oh, are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> They've got tear gas? How did they know? The My one weakness. thing. <laughs> I really wish that was fighting the like Blink Rogers thing, and it just turned into this <laughs> circle of eye things happening. Oh my yeah. God, that's amazing! All right, uh, all right, you've all done your second atrophy. Oh, we're out of time, yeah. so let's go ahead and do this. So, who says it's <laughs> Xerxes' eyes, dragon? <laughs> Maglito. Is that like 95% uh, because the name is so good? Of course. It's 100% because of the yeah. name is so good. <laughs> Kool-Aid man with force field. <laughs> so that's Maglito. And senior you. citizens. That's kind of awesome. Maglito wins it, which means Lev wins the entire game. Congratulations, <laughs> Lev. I, I have to pick those up now. I... I'll do it later. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Give everybody a round of hand for playing. But also, I think a hand for the game's Wait. creator. What's yes. that? Yes. A hand for the game's creator. Oh. And a what hand do we got? for more do we have time fan to put that art. on the camera? Put that on the camera. Xerxes Dragon. The people are just throwing fan art. This is like my dream, except... <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Burninating the peasants. Burninating the, the peasants. Here you go. Take it. Thank you, everybody. Have a great night. <laughs>